Well, China just did it again. Previously, we have DeepSeek R1 that is wrecking half of the US stock market because apparently it is a new AI reasoning model that is much more cost efficient compared to ChatGPT and it is really challenging the status quo of an open AI. And then we have the model called Quen Tree Coder from Alibaba that is very good at coding. And now we have GLM 4.5, a new AI model that's designed for reasoning, coding, and agentic abilities. And of course, this model was created by a Chinese IT company called Zipu AI. And as usual, this model is completely open source. You can download the way to your computer or to a server, and then you can run it locally. And this AI model also comes with, the, with their own AI chatbot that you could utilize just like ChatGPT or Gemini, and I'll talk about it later in this video. But uh, there are a few things, very, a few interesting things about GLM 4.5. So this model was trained with only 355 billion total parameters. And that's not the highest compared to other models. Uh, some of those actually reach trillions of parameters. But this model is actually very close to the score of Grok4 and O3 for OpenAI. And it is beating Cloud for Opus. That's just insane. And remember, this is an open source model. And this model also uh, able to browse the internet, at least the chatbot can uh, do the function calling and we'll do the web browsing. And it is also very cost competitive. It is quite similar to DeepSeek. And in general, it is performing much better at coding and agentic behavior compared to other AI tools. Now, if you want to use this uh, AI model, if you want to use GLM 4.5 to do a lot of things like coding, creating apps, or maybe uh, doing the regular search or chatbot like ChatGPT or Gemini, you can navigate to z.ai. I do really like the name. It's z.ai. It's very simple, easy to remember. Oh, sorry, I'm using comma, not, AI, not dot z.ai. And you can create a free account. So again, it is quite similar to any other chatbot that you probably have used. And you can do a lot of things. For example, here, I use this AI tool to generate a presentation and it looked really excellent. I'm trying to create a presentation about proofs that we have landed on the moon and it is able to do a web research and also get some images from the internet and put those relevant images into every single slide of this document. It's actually pretty cool. Now, just to give you a comparison, uh, this is one generation, one result from Genspire AI. I would say Genspire is still a bit better when it comes to design and visual compared to ZAI, but it is definitely much, much better than ChatGPT. So this is the one from ChatGPT. It, it is not even able to load the image. And again, uh, the document is actually web-based. So behind the scenes, it's really just a code. And the result from ChatGPT is not very good. So yeah, that's not something that I would like to use for a presentation. Another thing that you can do is doing or solving a complex pro problem like math or coding. So this one unique question that I sent to JLM 4.5, someone jump 30 centimeter into the air, calculate the recoil effect of the Earth orbit 200 million years down the line. Now, honestly, I have no idea what is the answer, but it seems to be able to think deeply because it is actually a reasoning model, so it can choose to think before answering the question. So on top of this reasoning, it is also a breaking down the problem into these mathematical formulas that I don't understand. I have no idea whether or not the final answer is correct or wrong, but at the end, it gave me this number, 18 picoseconds. Again, I have no idea if this is actually right or not, but the fact that it is able to uh, you know, try to answer a question that is kind of difficult because I'm talking about a very, very small number and something that could happen in the far, far future. And the fact that GLM is able to uh, try to answer the problem, I think it is really a statement of the capability of this AI model. Now, to use this model is quite simple. Just start a new chat and describe the thing that you want to ask to AI. Let's say I want to do research about latest AI news in the past week and click tools and be sure to enable web search. 
Uh, there are other tools like creating slides, uh, doing the full stack development, write code, help me write, uh, maybe a blog post or email, and searching some info. Now, let me just send a message and just wait for it to do the research. So I haven't tried to evaluate this with, let's say, perplexity, because I think perplexity is still the gold standard when it comes to researching with AI. But uh, given that this is the very early version of the product and the fact that you can use it for free, and by the way, there is no premium or pro option. So yeah, it's very early. I think they're going to have that at some point in the future. I don't think they can rely on API services alone. I think they're going to offer some sort of pro or plus subscription just like Gemini or ChatGPT, and basically you should be able to get more features or maybe get faster or better answer from this model. And by the way, given that this is open source, there's also the demo via Hugging Face that I will leave the link in the video description. And this gives you slightly more flexibility, like you can adjust the temperature and also the system prompt for the model. But this really for demo is not meant for a regular chatting, although you could use it, but it's not very complex, uh, not sorry, not very complete. Now, uh, it's still thinking, so yeah, it is a reasoning model that thinks a lot and it might take quite a while until it finishes. Okay, now it is start generating the answer. So yeah, it is not exactly the latest news in this week. It is from July 21st and it is not this week. So yeah, it's not doing a quite great job at doing research on the internet. So uh, another thing that I think it is worth mentioning is that you can actually select the model. I forgot to mention that. So if you click here, you have four different options, GLM 4.5, GLM 4.5 Air and some other uh, previous models. I do recommend to use this version, the Air version, because it is a lot faster than uh, the, the most advanced version. And if you just want to get answer for basic questions, then this model is basically perfect. So yeah, this is definitely a great advancement for the open source AI model. And uh, it is definitely the standard for what is possible with open source. And of course, this will ignite more competitiveness with uh, other AI companies like Google and OpenAI and hopefully we can get an even better AI model in the future. So that's basically everything you need to know about the GLM 4.5 from Zipo AI and how you can use it. I'll definitely make more video about this AI tool because it's just really amazing. There are some possibilities that we could explore from this new AI model. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video.